Back to Up with Krem. Well, in honor of Women's History Month, here is a story about a woman who led Spokane with courage. From saving pieces of local history to creating monumental programs we still use today, this former mayor shaped the way we see our community. Hi! I haven't seen you for a long time. You can't walk by Sherry Barnard without a friendly greeting. Hey, hi. She knows everyone and everyone knows Sherry. Connection to her community will always be a priority for the former mayor. The thing that really got me elected was I knew the people. The just the people. <laughs> I was friends with so many people. She understood what Spokane needed and took action to make change. Sherry Barnard served one term from 1989 to 1994, starting many programs that still run strong today. I started the Human Rights Commission, which is still in existence. Commissioning programs for women and youth. Lilac City's first ever Pride March. Was during her time as mayor, something she's proud to have started. I saved, helped save the Davenport Hotel. That's my big thing that was getting run down and everything. And I said, oh my gosh. I better start a group. I always got fussed at for starting a group because a lot of people thought I was nuts. And I can remember some of the city staff saying, Sherry, what are you doing? You know, there's no saving the Davenport, but I had enough support. And that she did. She says over 2,000 people joined the committee called Friends of the Davenport to save the iconic and historic hotel. She left her mark by creating lasting relationships. I feel so honored to, to have the trust of the Native American community. Gathering people in Riverfront Park for the first powwow that still happens every single year. And I just had a lot of support in Spokane to keep me going. And when I asked her how she did it all, you have to have the courage to do it. Something she's seen grow in women leaders over the years. Women have more courage and they speak out and they speak up. She looks back fondly on that time. Look at those pictures. I just love them. Reminds me of everything I did. Although in the past, her legacy lives on. Bye. And so does that positive spirit and love for the people of Spokane.